Namaste. I'm Rishabh, and in this episode, we are going to discuss something risky, something controversial. We are going to discuss how much do Indian classical musicians earn per concert. Now, I'm saying that this is controversial or risky because it has a very solid reason behind it. For people who really understand it, not us mortals, for all those panditjis and buas and ustads who really understand this pure, soul-touching music, for them, maybe on any end of the spectrum, for them. Indian classical music is a very solid way. It's like a highway and a direct connection to God. Koshiki Chakraborty, who is one of the topmost singers of her times, she herself says that she's quite nervous when she's about to, you know, sit on the stage and sing her first note, even till late. But as soon as she sings the first sa or the first shadaj, the audience disappears, the lights disappear, the accompanying musicians disappear, and she's one with the music. She's one with God, and hence you can understand why it's a little risky for a random guy. to discuss money in this field but anyway who cares let's get into it like any other field stage performance in indian classical music has a spectrum you have the top most artists and you have the other end people or artists who are maybe not earning that much now at the top end of course you have you know your ustad rashid khan pandit ajay chakraborty and koshiki chakraborty who are eligible to get the most money earning and the best accommodation and the best travel allowance now it's not really necessary that they stay in five seven star hotels or always travel in business class that's not important but they are the artists of course who charge the most now a top notch artist can earn easily easily anywhere between 4 lakhs to 6 lakhs per concert and in a month the number of concerts depend they can range from a minimum of 2 to maybe up to 10 it depends it depends on the season how many musical festival or conferences but per concert they earn anywhere between 4 to 6 lakhs and it may be more definitely now they get the best accommodation and the best travel allowance along with the most money on the other end of the spectrum you have multiple artists namely artists who are just starting out artists who do not perform at big events who perform at small scale events hence the money is also less and artists who are maybe not technically as capable as the top notch artists simply speaking now these artists especially the beginners may begin earning anywhere from you know 5000 rupees per concert which may go up to 10000 15000 20000 it depends but it begins anywhere between from 2000 i personally know people who get peanuts 2000 per concert or 5000 per concert now for these artists it always comes down to how many concerts are they getting per month so if you are an artist who earns 25000 rupees per concert and you get four concerts a month you easily earn 1 lakh rupees now 1 lakh is a good enough amount to lead a decent life in a big indian city like delhi or kolkata or chennai it's it's a decent enough amount plus the artists on the other end of the spectrum they also generally conduct classes for beginners intermediates or advanced students but students in general whereas the top notch artists sometimes don't even get enough time to you know hold classes they only have enough time to maybe at most have a few disciples whom they train themselves now before i end this episode i have to mention two things one is the thing that i've already mentioned which is for people who have really understood this art form this art form is used as a direct connect or a highway by the artist who has understood this music to form a direct bond with his atma or with god or whatever you want to call that entity but it lends a spiritual quality to the art form itself the second point is that especially in this field in indian classical music you cannot charge in lakhs 4 lakhs 5 lakhs 6 lakhs per concert without being good and to be good you have to have to put in mad amounts of innumerable hours of riyas into your art form you have to put in mad amounts of blood sweat and tears sacrifice on a lot of things because indian classical music is the last field in which you will get free treats no one is going to give you free treats or you know lakhs of rupees to sing bad music no one is going to do that the audience itself is going to boo you off stage because the audience remember as we're also trying to build through this channel through this very channel the audience knows its stuff so the audience can tell 90% of the time that this artist deserves or does not deserve to be on stage so that is it for this episode i did something new and i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next episode until then namaste